A lot of people ask, how can technology help dermatology? And when you look at it from the patient perspective, half of all primary care visits are dermatologically related and half of those are misdiagnosed. The average wait time in Massachusetts for a dermatologic referral is six weeks. We have such a compressed amount of time that getting to the diagnosis, the education, and providing a solution can often feel like a lot at once for the patient. For patients with inflammatory skin disease unfortunately end up having chronic diseases which is a major issue within our healthcare system. Because we're a small field, we need to align the various stakeholders so that we can have effective solutions and also have a path towards developing and commercializing things that can make a big difference for dermatologic health. When we think about a waxing, waning disease like this. This is a great opportunity for everyone, which includes the physicians, the researchers, the industry, to come together to bring new treatments to the patients that we take care of. I think it would be great for more residents to get involved. We bring an active voice, we like to advocate for patients, and we're tech savvy, so we like the hands-on approach and brainstorming. The first step is just bringing problems. Out of those pain points, we can envision new solutions. The ultimate success would, of course, be that some kind of new technology or some new entity company arises out of this. This could at least be a starting point. It has a higher purpose in terms of looking at problems and being part of the solution that can really make the difference. And you get to work in teams where you can pitch those ideas and bring a prototype to fruition. It's your opportunity to get your voice heard and actually get a lot of really smart people with a lot of experience to work on a problem that's dear to your heart. And that's the reason why you should come.